what's going on guys what's going on uh, i'm going to show you guys how to get your private keys because uh, i know a lot of questions are going around with people don't understand how to they're new and they don't understand how to receive their private keys uh from eos or know how to get their private keys from there in which I, I don't understand how you made it this far and not really understand but i get it i mean using some of the stuff is kind of technical um if you're very new so i'm gonna show you how to get your private keys from exodus and uh how to kind of see your airdrops which honestly guys i i wouldn't really even worry about the airdrops because there is no wallets for each of these uh apps yet like the iq token even if you get your everpedia token where are you going to send it? Uh, there, there is no wallet for it yet. Uh, there is no exchange that uh, accepts it yet. So you won't be able to really do anything with it as of right now. So I, I, I suggest you guys just kind of calm down and uh, don't get so antsy on your airdrops. They're not going anywhere. Um, they're, they're, they're attached to your private keys. So as long as you don't lose your private keys, they're forever going to be there. So don't rush it. Um, so how to get your private keys from Exodus, what you do is open up Exodus, of course. And this is a brand new account. There is a zero balance on it, guys. Trust me, I, I'm not foolish. <laughs> I know a lot of people out there uh, are hoping I open this up and uh, show private keys. It's not happening. Um, so yeah, let's just let this load up real quick. Um, so yeah, uh, just kind of how most Exodus, Exodus walks will look open it up uh what you want to do to get access to your private keys you will hold curl shift and d at the same time and you will see this little bar white bar pop come where you can actually physically see it um what you want to do is hit developer go to assets and find whatever crypto that you want the private keys for uh today we won uh eos you want to go to uh eos and uh export private keys and once you do that, this will pop up. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And for me, at least, it will pop up right here. Not all the time is going to pop up right on your desktop. Sometimes you might have to search for it uh, somewhere in your computer. You just look, you just look on the search, uh, Exodus exports. Um, you should be able to find uh, the little folder. I have it set to where it goes there on my desktop. But not all the time it does that. So um, then you go to assets again your ethereum private keys uh export private keys are you sure yes this will be in the same folder as your exit i mean your eos uh private keys we don't need this anymore let's exit this out let's bring these two forward um so let's just kind of go over the, uh, the eos private keys um it has it in order your address the path the balance private keys of course we have a zero balance so we won't see balance show here because there's nothing there uh so your address first your eos address will be eos addresses always start with eos so let's just kind of go over from there this will be it all the way to the little pull up uh that will be the address and uh this will be your path right here there is no balance it's just zero dollars in there so that's not here but if i had a dollar in there it will be right here and then the private keys are last, as it says right here, private keys. And right here are the private keys for EOX. Right here, you will copy, do whatever you want with that. Don't, well, don't lose your private keys. Put them in a safe place uh, off your computer if you can, um, on a USB, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's how you get access to your private keys. So that way you scatter if you want to use scatter. Um, so that way you're not you're missing guys you're missing out on a lot if you don't know how to use scatter you're missing out on a lot i'm going to show you a few things that uh you're kind of missing out on um and uh your same thing for ethereum uh your address your path your balance we have no money in there so it's zero balance so you won't see that there uh private keys your ethereum address will always be up front it says address here your path and since we have zero balance it's not here and your private keys is always last so here is the Ethereum private key. You can copy that. All right, um, to see your airdrops, which I don't understand why everyone's such in a rush to get their airdrops. But uh, my Ether wallet, okay. You go to my Ether wallet, Mew. Uh, I don't recommend doing it this way at all. Like this is just a shortcut cheat sheet. I, I, if you have another means of doing it, by all means do it. But I, I'm not going through the whole tutorial. If people just want to see their, their airdrops for some reason, 
uh, this is the way to go, I guess the fastest way, not probably not the safest way, but the fastest way. Uh, I, I don't think anything bad is going to happen. Just try not to put your private keys on websites. Um, you can also do this, honestly, you can actually check your balances with your uh, with your address, your, your, your Ethereum address. You don't even need to put your private keys. You can just click on this one and put your Ethereum address. You can still do most of the same functions as putting your private keys, but you won't be able to export any funds or any airdrops out. But we're gonna just use the private keys for this demonstration. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, for zero balance, uh, what you wanna do to actually find your, your airdrops, you go right here, it's tokens. You go uh, the Explorer ID, and uh, you should see, I'll show you where your airdrops would be. It will be right here with token balance. You see a list of different tokens. Uh, and from there, it, you see all your airdrops would be right here. It would be under token balance. And uh, I'm not really gonna show you how to list them. Uh, you will have to use add custom tokens and uh, put the contract address, put the symbol and decimal. Decimal is usually 18, um, but I'm not really gonna do that in this video. It, it, you guys just want to see your airdrops, you just go here and you will be able to see your airdrops on that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how to uh, go about it that way. And uh, let's say you want to, you're new and you just want to play it safe, you don't want to put your private keys, you just want, you just want to see your, your balance. Uh, instead of going right here and getting your private key, your Ethereum private key, you go to address first and get your address, copy, and what you would do is just go to view, uh, address only, paste that, and you can still see the balance. You can still see it, but you won't be able to send funds out of this wallet. You only can see it. Um, you still can see your, your airdrops as well. You still be able to do all that. You would even still be able to add custom tokens as if you did put your private keys. Um, so yeah, that, I think that's just a safe. If you're not planning to actually move your airdrops or move your coins, I think that's the safest uh, way of doing it. Just put your address, uh, your public address, not your private keys. Um, unless you're really trying to move your coins and just just kind of move on uh, with that. Uh, I want to I want to show you guys uh, something that's pretty awesome um, that I came across. I actually saved a few things. Um, there is an actual Twitter, a decentralized Twitter built on EOS, um, and people are actually using it. Uh, it's, it's actually been made. It took the developer three hours to make this. I think his name was Cesar Rodriguez. So technically, as of right now, there are only two cryptocurrencies that actually have a decentralized Twitter. It's Bitcoin Cash and EOS. Uh, remember that all the all the shit talking that's going on in the crypto space. Um, just saying, guys. Just saying. Uh, they're they're, they're actually doing things, and I, I like seeing them like this. Right now, it's pretty rude and crude. Um, but it's something. It's, it's a platform where it's censorship censorship resistance, uh, and I like that. And uh, Bitcoin Cash has uh, Memo Cash, and uh, another one as well. Um, this is the type of stuff we need. We need to be able to talk freely and not have to be shadow banned or uh, accounts taken down or comments removed. This is stuff we, we, we need. So I'm glad to see those two cryptocurrencies doing stuff like that. Even though Bitcoin Cash is not really trying to be a platform. It is and it isn't. It's mainly a, 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 a money. It's cryptocurrency. Um, the US is more or less a platform. This is kind of what it's designed to do. But it's good to see uh, cryptos innovating and not staying stagnant. Another thing that's gonna actually put this, you guys, this is fun. Oh, and this, you need scatter. You need scatter. And this is why I'm telling you guys, you, you're going to need, uh, my scatter is locked right now. I'm not really gonna unlock it for obvious reasons. Um, I, hey guys, I'm paranoid. <laughs> uh, yeah, your, the scatter is locked, um, but you're going to need scatter to do a lot of things in the EOS space, a lot. So get used to, uh, using scatter and get familiar with it or if you won't you're gonna lose out on so many functions that you could be uh, participating in but you're just not um, so yeah get to get get learning on that, that, that scatter uh, let's show you guys another one real quick. this is actually this is actually um, I, like I said I could log in but I don't really don't want to do it you know I'm a little paranoid there 
I, I know Scatter is safe. I, you guys can't really get private keys from Scatter. Um, but still, I, I don't want to put myself in that position. But this is uh, kind of like Crypto Kitties, but what like Crypto Monsters. And you could kind of make sure your pet monster is fed and slept. This is just made not that long ago. So it's very uh, rough around the edges. Some features aren't able to be used, like sleeping mode or uh, feeding mode, or some of the modes aren't really uh, ready to be used, but this is progress. This is things that are happening. And it kind of shows, demonstrates what EOS can do. Um, Crypto Kitties would have crashed using something like this. So yeah, guys, go check it out. Links are in the description. Uh, so yeah, guys, I, I know there's a lot of hate going on in the crypto space uh, about, let's log out. Uh, I know there's a lot of hate going on. Um, a lot of hate going on in the crypto space. Why is this here? Um, a lot of hate going on in the crypto space about EOS and stuff like that. Guys, this is the same level of hate I, I seen in Bitcoin Cash. And so I'm I'm already I'm I'm already used to it. So to me this is nothing. I understand this was coming. I had said that it was coming. Because you're holding a quality of crypto that a lot of people overlooked and didn't add to their portfolio and you kind of regret. Um you know, I, I definitely see if you get to play with some of these features, like the the, the, the monster app that I just showed you, and the decentralized Twitter, you will understand you will understand what EOS is offering. And um, you know, uh, Ethereum ain't doing that. Cardano isn't doing that. So there's a lot of haters. But guys, I didn't really want to make this directly a full EOS video. I kind of actually want to make a video about Bitcoin Cash this time, but. Uh, it's just gotten to the point where so many people are talking about um let me remove this stuff are talking about uh how to get their airdrops how to get their airdrops and uh how to get their private keys how to do the scatter thing so i guess this is my attempt to kind of help people but uh i don't normally do this guys so if you like this type of stuff hit the subscribe button hit the like button give me feedback that you want to see more of this stuff and it helps you if not then i won't make more of these and, uh, and that just won't happen. But all right, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. And uh, I'm gonna catch you guys later. See you.